Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will discuss how to find the slope of a line given an equation of linear equation in two variables. So we have here a new form na may encounter nyo while we are doing this topic kasi ito gagamitin natin on how to find the value of slope given an equation. So itong form na to is yung tinatawag natin slope Intercept form. Bakit ba siya tinawag na slope intercept form? Dahil kapag alam nyo or na-convert nyo isang equation into an slope intercept form, ang mangyayari, you can easily identify the value of your slope, which is yung m natin. This is your slope. And yung b natin, this is your y-intercept. So without further ado, let's do this topic. I have here four examples. Then after nito, I will give you an activity para ma-play nyo agad kung ano natutunan nyo sa video tutorial natin ngayon. So given the direction, find the slope of each line given its equation. Again, nung malakarang discussion natin, hinanap natin yung slope gamit ang rise over run if the given is the graph or the line of a linear equation. And then second episode natin, is we tried to solve for the slope gamit yung formula na y is equal to or m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus y sub 1. And right now, in situation natin is that we have an equation at ang target natin is to find the slope of a line. So we have here again, yung ating slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus B. So, para makuha natin yung equation, sorry, para makuha natin yung slope ng isang equation of a line, kailangan matransform muna natin into y is equal to mx plus b, o yung ang tinatawag natin slope-intercept form. So, we have here example number 1, y is equal to negative 5x plus 1. Again, y is equal to negative 5x plus 1. So, pag in natin yung equation natin, Yung y natin ay isolated na, and then the rest of the terms ay nasa right side na. Therefore, as you can see, pinafollow niya na yung form na y is equal to mx plus b. So sir, paano ba natin makakuha yung slope natin? As you can see, yung m natin ay yung katabi ng x. So, ang pinakamadali lang tatandaan natin dyan, kung ano yung coefficient ng ating x variable, yun ay yung value ng ating slope kapag naka-slope intercept form. So, in this equation, number one, the value of slope is negative 5. Again, your slope is negative 5. That is the answer for item number 1. Next, for item number 2, you have y is equal to x over 3 plus 4. So, following the pattern, y is equal to mx plus b, as you can see, naka-slope intercept form na yung ating equation. Okay? So, all we need to do is to gather or to get the value of your slope, which is m. So, kung natin coefficient, sir, is it 3? No. Kung kapansin nyo, fractional form yan, at kapag wala kayong number na nakita katabi ni x, automatic, there's an invisible 1. So, kung kapansin nyo, here is the value of your slope. And m is equal to one third. Okay? So, ganun lang simple yung example number 1 and number 2 natin. Sir, so, how about these examples number 3 and number 4? They are not yet in slope-intercept form. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon is to transform those equations in y is equal to mx plus b. So, follow natin y is equal to mx plus b. Sir, so, paano? So, we need to manipulate the given equation. First, you need to transpose the variable x or the x term from that y term. So, transpose natin yung 2x kabila and our new equation is 3x is equal to, ah, oh, sorry, that's not 3x, 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 9. Sir, what happened to 2x? but naging negative? 
Try to remember that when we transpose a term, variable or constant, when you transpose it to the other side of the equation, automatic, nagabagong sign. From positive, it became negative. Then after this, kailangan, ang matitira na lang coefficient ni y dito ay 1. So dapat y na lang matitira dyan. So next step natin is to divide the whole equation by 3. Bakit sir? Bakit natin kailangan i-divide yung whole equation by 3? Kasi when we divide it by 3, we can cancel out 3. And then you have y is equal to negative 2x plus 4 over 3. And simplify your equation para makuha nyo natin yung ating slope or yung m natin, you can write this as y is equal to negative 2x over 3 plus 4 over 3. So, ano ngayon ang value ng ating m or ng slope natin? Kung mapansin nyo, ito yung coefficient ng x. Therefore, the value of m or the value of your slope is negative 2 over 3. This is the correct answer for item number 3. And then let's move on to item number 4. We have 5x plus 2y is equal to 6. So following the pattern, y is equal to mx plus b. Kailangan naka-isolate si variable y. So we need to transpose 5x to the other side. So our new equation is 2y is equal to negative 5x plus 6. Then after that, ang target natin is to eliminate 2. So therefore, we need to divide the whole equation by 2. Divide this one, cancel na natin to. You have y is equal to negative 5x over 2 plus 3. Sir, paano naging 3? Kasi 6 divided by 2, that is 3. Ngayon, yung ating equation is already in y is equal to mx plus b4. So we can easily identify the value of m. Your m simply negative 5 over 2. This is the correct answer or this is the value of slope given the equation 5x plus 2y is equal to 5. So I hope na sa ating example na to ay natutunan nyo kung paano hanapin yung slope given the equation of a line. So I have here an activity wherein I wish na masagutan nyo para ma-apply nyo agad kung ano natutunan nyo sa ating tutorial video. Again, if bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye! Hi guys, you can also like and follow our Facebook page which is named as Math Teacher Gon. We're uploading this for our followers on Facebook so I hope na ma-follow nyo rin at makita o kaya ma-visit ang ating page. So right now, uh, we have we have 14,000 followers and likers of this page and I hope na makasama namin kayo sa page na to. God bless.